So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and this is another subscriber replay. This is Bertie, cuz we'll call him Bertie for short, um, who is driving the Tier 10 Russian heavy tanks, the iconic IS-7, um, on red chars. It's an all-10 uh, match, every tank Tier 10. And um, so, what about the IS-7? It's well, personally, it was the first Tier 10 I got in the game. Um, and I got it because everyone said what a monster it was. And when I got it and I played it and I thought, well, what do they mean? I just just keep getting killed. Um, and, and that's mainly because this was one of the original Tier 10s, one of the first Tier 10s in the game. And it's a little bit long in the tooth. Well, it was. Um, last patch, 9.20, we're going buffed it and buffed it quite well nice and balanced on it it's now got a bit of mobility it fits very much within the is line um, they're all um, generally pretty quick tanks very mobile for, for heavy tanks and i don't know what he's doing he's just showing off the dexterity of this tank by driving with his turret backwards and teasing an e100 um yeah so they buffed that they buffed some of the gun handling statistics and consequently you see it when you always used to see quite a lot of IS-7s but particularly you're seeing a lot more now and, and more so on the bigger on those 30 v 30 maps I see a lot of uh, I see a lot of these uh, things on there sorry just trying to work out where we were right so we're on red shires um, he's come to this corner here only just been spotted got all that way and it was a proxy spot E100s, pair of E100s there. Oh, there's our friend in the E5. We're going to have a lot of fun with him later. Now, this game was just... There's a moment of just unbelievableness in it. Artillery is signalling that they're aiming this way. We're going to have a quick pop out. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. 490 damage into the side of that uh, E3. Artillery is signalling they're about to land a shell here. Let's track him in place to make sure he's a reci recipient of that. And uh, was it really worth it? 61 health? You've got to be kidding me. Mind you, those E3s are pretty heavily armoured, and if it was ang if it was um, just splashed down, you can understand that. E100 puts a big shell under our lower plate tried to track him in place that e5 is desperate to come round and we're a bit isolated got some support behind and the artillery are clearly looking this way uh, but there's a lot of enemy heavy tanks here e100 is desperate to push around and there we go we've just but just seen um, a scout up on the hill above Puts a lovely shell into the E100. Been circled by that bat chat. He's come down off the hill. Now we're in trouble. Took another shell to the rear. And that's his engine gone. He's in real trouble. But luckily someone takes him down before he can do any more damage. Tries to track that E100 in place and does so. Now watch this E100. He says, right, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm... Uh oh. 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 Shit. Oh. 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 <laughs> just flip Bertie just flips him over and then nonchalant says I'll be back with you in a minute let me just finish off this E100 tracks E100 again in, in position and he is taken down now let's take down the uh, E5 but the first shell gets eaten by the tracks even though they're upside down come on we can aim a bit better before someone still got still our kill takes him down GG right so let's take another look at that, that was just so funny. He blocks the E100, the E5 comes round for a quick kill but takes the corner a bit too tight. Bertie pushes him over, just bulldozes round, E5, E100 tries to come and take a shot but is in tracked in place so Bertie takes him, puts him down. Meanwhile the E5 is just dying, slowly but surely. So we'll put him out of his misery and may it. <laughs> He fails to do so. Come on, take your time. Take your time. Aim, aim, aim. Boomcha. Nice. G
this corner is still very tight but it is six zero up so the team is doing really well you can see Bertie's absolutely cacking himself with laughter in the chat don't say I blame him that e5 just took the corner far too quickly and flipped the tank before he knew what happened <coughs> trying to support that e um, grill but um, the e3 start to turn around towards him so there's nothing he can do about it he hasn't got enough health to go out and trade shots with an e3 he's down to uh, what was that 30 uh, 376 artillery are still saying they're aiming here and sure enough they are but oof, 23 health you've got to be kidding me Fosh is going in deep let's track him in place Fosh is just ripping in the new one. Type 5 heavy. Type 5 heaven takes out the Fosh. We're trying to track him in place but not having much success. Come on, just that corner. Give us something to shoot at. Come on. There we go. Just above the dead tank. It's going to get the kill shot. Back of the turret. Oh, it was still too angled and the shell dropped low towards the rim of the turret. Oh dear. They're on the comeback trail. We we'll have to stop that. Yes. Nails him in the tracks. It means he's completely at the mercy of the RE100. At least he should be. And he misses, but we don't, so GG. Fantastic. So there is an IS-7 left. There's also um, a Stuntwagen 103B, the S-Tank, out there somewhere. Haven't seen the uh, uh, Swedish TD yet, but we've certainly seen the IS-7, and there he is. He's a good player as well, but you know, there's nothing you can do about all this huge number of tanks, and we'll just pick him up. And we actually bounce a shell from the S-Tank. Very nice. So, this game is done and dusted. Can we get a little bit more damage before this is all over? Just keeping ourselves hidden. No, no G. No, no good. Never mind. GG. So, that was just fantastic. That bulldozing of that uh, E5. <laughs> I just love the way he just love just flipped him over and then just casually put shot after shot in him to make sure he got the kill as well while making sure that he was secure in the flank. Really, really nice play. So <laughs> thanks for sending that one in. It was a first class, he got bruiser and he got fire for effect. Finished up uh unsurprisingly top of the team, four thousand two hundred and thirty three damage, uh three kills, eleven sixty eight. Base XP, fired 15 shots, hit with all 15, but only penned with 10 of them uh, for that 4,000 damage. He uh, took 8 shots himself, 5 of which penned him, 3 did not. Um, and he made nearly 70,000 credits, did fire some premium, so only made 345 ex um, credits at the end of that. And seven, uh, 1,752 XP with a premium account, so... Don't usually like showing lots of uh, premium use, but that was just hilarious, that game. That was hilarious. And I think he, he played that corner masterfully, really, really well. Um, tracking tanks, using his support, taking down those he could take down, and then just flipping a, a full health E5 and <laughs> killing him. <laughs> That's just great. Uh, great. Well, he only got 200, uh, 200 93 damage on that uh, E5, but blimey, it took a powerful tank out of the game, that's for sure. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, enjoy your games, have fun. Try not to take it too seriously. It's just a damn game, you know. And I'll see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, out.